Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, I know it's been a while since I posted. Um, I'm sorry about that. Um, but a few things have happened. And, but the most important thing is, I'm back. Um, and today, we have the return of NASCAR Downhill Races. And guess what? We have a different stock car this time. So, the first round, um, I should say the first full round that we did... Uh, let me pull up Google here for a minute. Uh, the first round that we did, uh, I think I finished it around a month or two ago at this point. Um, oh, thanks for 120 subscribers, by the way. I really appreciate it. Uh, oh, two full months ago, actually, was the, um, the finale. Round five through seven, and the finale for the uh, Too Fast Racing stock cars now here we have these solar power racing schemes and with the solar power racing schemes there is a lot a lot a lot less um schemes per se i think um like there's no heat five things or anything but there's a lot of fictional schemes um and a lot of repeating numbers so I might have to write down or I'll just look at the video to reference at the current moment in time I'm not sure how many rounds I'm gonna do depending on how long it takes me to get through every single scheme um, but all I know is first video today we're doing uh, round one and two of real life schemes so um, I will tell you your starting lineup as you can tell there's actually a three car and another three car here in the field today so that's interesting we got one three three four and five um, there's no two in this field today uh, l so let's get to your starting lineup um, there's 13 of these real I guess schemes in total I'm not gonna be driving in any of these today I might drive in the um, the next round as like Jimmy Johnson or something um, or maybe even a fictional scheme I don't know whatever catches my eye anyway the point is we are going to race here today First round of these uh, real life skin, uh, sorry, real life schemes um, is going to be seven cars. The next round is going to be six cars. Uh, there will be three cars to advance in each round. Let's get it underway here. All right. Um, our weapon of choice today, by the way, for the uh, AI is just like a bunch of wood planks. Cause why not? I figured why not. Um, so here's your starting lineup. Uh, on pole is Dale Earnhardt Jr. Yes, I know you think it's Dale Earnhardt, but it's actually Earnhardt Jr., the scheme that he actually ran and won with. Um, I know I'm going to get a bunch of Dale Jr. fans hating me in the comments for this, but I'm actually not sure which race he won in this scheme. It was an Xfinity race. I know that, I think. Um, but it was with this scheme number three, the Wrangler on the car looks absolutely amazing uh, next to him is the late Kenny Irwin jr. Uh, in the Halvaline Texaco Chevrolet not a Ford by the way uh, behind them in the second row is Sterling Marlin and Texas Terry himself the Kellogg's man uh, Terry Labonte and then you got Jimmy Spencer in the seven is one of his least popular cars actually I think so it's interesting to see this here Looks like you the you got the the Manjaro thing on the front here because of course these are from Manjaro Skin Pack. Um, shout out to him by the way. Go check his YouTube channel out. Uh, and then you got the Kurt Busch scheme from the IRL pack that actually comes with the solar power car. And um, the second three in the field today, Austin Dillon, who I don't believe got into the finals last time. So let's see what everyone can do. Uh, today let's get it underway yeah, let's go big jump from that number 28 car four turning into the five year already got some contact even though the three didn't hit anybody he's going around actually Kenny Irwin at the front I'm not sure how well these cars will fare down this hill actually because they do catch a little bit of air underneath them and this is the super speedway version of the car so we'll have to see, but Kenny Irwin, I wouldn't say he's flying down the hill, but he is 
got a considerable lead over, I think, Dale Jr.'s in second right now. We'll see how he goes over the jump. Lands it, actually. Good for him. Who's next? Dale Jr. Lands it pretty well as well. And you got Sterling Marlin, Kurt Busch, uh, Jimmy Spencer, and the three of Austin Dillon to round them out. See how everybody's doing back here. Taking the bumps fine. Kenny Irwin will win the first race. So, Kenny Irwin wins the first race. Dale Jr. second. Sterling Marlin, Sterling Marlin third. Kurt Busch fourth. He's making that a statement. Jimmy Spencer with the top five and... Austin Dillon rounding out the top six, and there was, I believe, a car stuck at the top, possibly. Uh, I'll have to go back and check. Oh, actually, it was Terry Levante. I'm not sure where he was, because I reset him too quickly, but yeah. All right. Um, what's interesting about this is we're actually not going to remove this number 28 Texaco Havoline Chevrolet. We're actually going to just put it to the back. Um, as well as the number three of Dale Earnhardt Jr. because it would be a very unfair advantage for him if he was starting all by himself on the front row. All right, uh, let's follow somebody in the back this time. Let's do or maybe mid-pack, actually, because I think that's where most of the stuff happened. Let's go Austin Dillon here. So green flag's back. Jimmy Spencer gets absolutely dumped off the start. Holy... The five trying to sideswipe and take the three out. Holy. Maybe it was for uh, Dale Earnhardt rattling his cage or something. But you can see the three gets spun around on the start as well by Kenny Irwin. Wow, the three is way over on the grass side of things. Wow. That was uh, very sketchy here. You got Earnhardt flying into the air. He's our first flip of the day. Flying to and twistering through the air. Holy, he's going for a wild ride over and over and over. All the way down the hill. Nothing else is really happening down here. Sterling Marlin is actually in the lead right now, so good for him. Holy crap. That ain't good. Dale might have another concussion from that one. Oh, Kurt's over. Kurt has flipped. He is up and over, folks. What a surprise. Sterling Marlin still out front. Um, who's in second here? Is that second? Yeah. Austin Dillon is in second, the guy that we started with, so he's going to pick up a podium. Unfortunately, doesn't get there at the end. Um, but you see Terry Labonte here as well. Uh, Kenny Irwin coming down the hill with a damaged race car, I believe, from spinning out Dale Jr. at the start there. You see Kurt Busch upside down. So that's going to be a win for Sterling Marlin. Good for him. Oh, somebody just hit the jump back here. Another flip. Jimmy Spencer, I believe. Yep. Holy crap, look at what he did to his car. Um, Jimmy, where are you going? He's, he's like he's like that dude from Cars. Don't take me off course. I can still race. <clears throat> That's what he's doing right now. Makes the jump. Oh. Goes over again. Sent into a fit of barrel rolls again. Does a nose stand and ends it off by landing on the front end of his car. And we got a, a four car pile up, technically three car pile up here at the end. So let's reset everybody here. Sterling Marlin did actually start on the front row, so good for him for uh, going from uh, front row to victory lane. We're going to have to move these cars forward by the end of this video they're going to be like all the way back to the wall all right final round let's see who will get the victory here both of the second row cars from last race actually flipped um so that's interesting and of course dale jr doing dale jr things and flipping over multiple times getting uh the 18th concussion of his racing career um let's follow him let's see if he drives like a drunk here we go oh sterling already trying to tactically take him out oh Kenny Irwin takes another person out and it looks like Earnhardt Jr. getting some revenge here at the start Terry Labonte gets absolutely wiped out by Irwin 
Irwin's still, like, fishtailing back there. Maybe he's the drunk one. Holy. Earnhardt Jr. is racing like a veteran. Well concussed. What a surprise. This is why he is a superstar, by the way. Kurt Busch pulling away in his Ganassi Chevrolet. Looking a lot like Kansas of 2019 right now. Or 2020 or whatever year it was. And he goes flying over the jump. Here comes Jimmy Spencer. The three looks like all seven cars are going to make it down this time. Nobody flipping over the on the jump. Never mind. We got all three. Holy crap. Texas Terry going for a wild twister through the air. Kenny Irwin going over as well. You can see the three of Dale Earnhardt again. And that was the back of the Kellogg's Car Quest. Chevrolet of Terry Labonte went flying through the air at the end. And that is going to be a win for Kurt Busch. Good for him. Sterling Marlin to pick up a top four. Jimmy Spencer was in second. He unfortunately couldn't get it done. But great effort by him and all the other drivers involved. Man, oh man. Terry, did Terry Labonte go for a wild ride that race? Holy. Alright. Um, now let's change up the paint schemes a little, shall we? Uh, let's go to the front. Um, so I think we left off at the three of Austin Dillon's. So you're Bubba Wallace, you're going to be one of the Jimmies, you're going to be uh, Jimmy 2, uh, you're going to be Larson, oh, I just passed a car, nice, love to see it, uh, you're going to be... Earnhardt Jr. still, but the 8 this time. Um, you're going to be Chase Elliott, and you're going to be removed because we only have 6 cars this time. So let's get sport's most popular driver up to the front. Or actually not up to the front. That's not what I meant. Um, but forwards a little bit just so that he's actually in contention, like in the pack. Um, so we're going to stop the AI here for a minute. And I want to, uh, I'll put myself mid-pack, actually. I'll be this alternate Johnson car. Um, yeah, so let's get this underway. From Jimmy Johnson, I'm playing on uh, keyboard, by the way. So if I spin out and crash, it's not my fault. We're getting into Larson on the start. Bubba's spinning out on the start. Actually, I think he saved it trying to advance ourselves into the next round maybe without spinning out oh look out leader leader's going for a rough time he's flipping over it's my clone no jimmy upside down flipping through the air over multiple times holy cow he's going for a wild ride through the air look out holy oh look out for me as well we're going over yep it had to happen we got a Oh, man, we got a f big wreck right here. Chase going for the jump. Oh, flying through the air. Wow. And did we end up getting hit? I don't think we did. And it's going to be a race to the checkers. Checkers or wreckers right here. Who is it going to be at the finish line? Bubba Wallace, looks like. We'll pick up the victory. And Kyle Larson gets a second. What a surprise. 2021 champion right there. And then who's in third? I think we picked up a third there because the other three car or four cars at the back, including us, ended up wrecking right here. There's Chase. There's uh, my clone, the Jimmy clone. And Dale Earnhardt Jr., I'm assuming this plume of smoke is from his car. Because if not, I think we have a ghost car on the racetrack. Uh, this must be him at the top. Yes, it is. And he has a blown engine. Yep. Well, the engine's still running. Might be a drive shaft issue or something like that. 
so Bubba Wallace will advance to the next round. Let's put these two at the back. And there. All right. Let's go. We're on front row this time. We love to see it. All right. Here we go. We actually got a good start this time. Fairly decent start, I should say. Let's not let Larson win this one. And he really got a good takeoff on the start, didn't he? I'm just going to coast it all the way down because I do not want to wreck. Like he is going to. Holy cow, did you see how much air he got right there? Oh, there he goes. There goes Larson. Bye-bye, Larson. Bye-bye. Oh, it looks like he's going to get hit back there if he doesn't be careful. Flipping into the other side. Oh. Oh. Okay, we're good. Okay. That was almost stupid. Hold on. I, I just want to I just want to see where everybody's at right now. Oh, it looks like we've had contact back here possibly. Uh Elliot's off the track right here. He's got damage. Bubba also has damage actually. I think he's stopped. The only two cars that made it over are Dale Earnhardt soaring like the true American hero that he is over the jump here and then the Jimmy clone. Um let's go back to us here, how about? Alright. And we will travel to our first victory of the day. And the reason why I don't say our last victory this time is because Oh man, we really took a big impact there. Uh, is because um, we could win the next round, of course, but we have to be at the back row, so it probably won't happen. Uh, Dale Jr. picks up a second, and uh, Jimmy Johnson, the other Jimmy, picks up a podium. Jimmy and Jimmy, first and third. All right. Uh, let's reset everybody here. Let's put us to the back. I think all the uh, calamity is going to happen in front of us this time, so we should get a pretty good view of it. I'm sorry if you didn't get the uh, full experience of the awesome Larson flip. Tyler is inviting me to a Fortnite party. Hmm. Should I join? I don't know. Uh, probably after this video, but I won't make it a video. I won't make you guys like watch me play and lose Fortnite for like eight, for like 40 minutes straight again. So. Uh, without further ado, let's get into the final race. You got Chase Elliott and Dale Earnhardt Jr. in your first row. Let's go. Oh, man. Bubba got a great start. He's going to the inside. The leaders just wrecked each other. They're all wrecking at the start. Bubba's going around. Oh, no. Uh, Larson actually went around at the start. Interesting. You don't see that very often. All right. Let's just coast down. Oh, slowly. Slowly now. Oh. Oh, sorry, Dale. Sorry, Dale. Oh, sorry, Chase. Oh, we're all wrecking. Oh, yep. It's a three-car jam session. Um, Dale is off the track again. What a surprise. Bubba Wallace might get his second victory of the day today. There's fire all over the racetrack, by the way. Chase is flipping. Earnhardt is going into the Toretto pit, it looks like. And, oh, fire out of his car now. Flipping through the air. And he is dead. And how about Bubba Wallace, man? Picking up his second victory of the day, starting from mid-pack. Oh, look at Jimmy, though. He's got some major speed. He had to actually hit the brakes there because he was going too fast, I think. But to the line, Daryl Wallace Jr. will pick up his second win of the day. Oh, Jimmy has no brakes. Uh-oh. No, he's good. So, Bubba Wallace is sitting on pole for the final race at this point. If anybody gets more than uh, two wins, if they sweep all three races, I'd be very impressed. But Bubba Wallace will win two of the three races in the final round. Um, so, thank you guys for watching the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.